I am committed to Jimmy Johnson here now as we head down into turn one. Elliot, oh no, oh. Third time is the charm. I swear this time we will complete the whole season. Hello everybody, welcome back. We are on NASCAR 15 again for the third attempt at doing a season on here. This time I guarantee, I promise, we're gonna make it happen. 36 races, we're doing Daytona again today. Last time we made it to, I think, Auto Club. Yes, we made it to Auto Club and then didn't get any further than Auto Club. But like I said, this time we're gonna be able to get through this whole deal and I guarantee it. So we're gonna make it happen, get Jeff Gordon finally his fifth title in his final chance. Here we are then for the Bud Shootout to kick off the third Time is a Charm series, we're gonna call it here in Daytona. How do I shift? Okay, it's B and X, isn't it? Now, I noticed, by the way, I think we can play this game on, on a wheel, and I'm considering trying that, not for this episode, but for, like, the next episode when we go to, what, Atlanta? I'm thinking we might actually try the wheel if it is going to work. I'm not sure if it will, but I have my Thrustmaster TMX, so... Let me know right now, down below in the comments, comment yes for wheel, comment no for, well, just sticking on controller. And we'll, we'll try it for like at least an episode and, and see where it goes, and if it doesn't work, we'll just stick with controller. But if it turns out to be awesome, then we can like do the wheel for like the whole season. But yeah, let me know down below, I would appreciate that here as we go through three and four. We got Cole Witt behind us. How is... How is Cole Witt in the Bud shootout? I don't really know. Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, you know, I've played this game so many times, uh, but yet yeah, I'm still pretty bad when it comes to bumping in the corners. I feel like this is too many cars in this duel, and they are they show no remorse here. You leave a hole, they will absolutely take it now as you rely on Kozlowski to hopefully push us. So I put a vote on uh, my YouTube community post about if we should do a season mode or a career mode for this game. Because uh, I was like, I promise I'm going to get the season done this time. And I actually decided, so this this season mode here, lost the poll. We're doing a season mode, though. So I'm, I'm considering doing both, actually. So we finished the season, and then we might do, like, a career mode along with it. I know Michael Moots has done something like that. He did an Asker 2013 season, and then he went and did a career mode after that. And I'm thinking we might do something similar. Uh, we also I might try that with NASCAR Heat Evolution, uh, just to kind of do the classic NASCAR gaming. But we'll see. We have 300 cars in a line right here. We got Dale Jr., we got myself, we got Jimmy Johnson. All we're missing is Casey Kane. This bump drafting isn't really doing anything because here goes Johnson and Stewart to the inside. Now I can't push Dale here because if I push him here, I'm just going to wreck him now. So we got to be careful. Lay off the bumper of that 88. Oh, we're going to get forced to be wide. I should never have gone into this view. And I'm putting myself into the outside while tearing the right side off the car. And still one of the worst looking at damage models in nascar gaming history tony stewart i am here very close i don't know when this round ends but it's not 15 laps complete there is like one or two cautions i got hung out again i got hung out again and that's just because of my bad at holding line talent here on the controller now as we're coming to the line this might be the end of the round right here nope maybe lap five a big push to the back of tony stewart down this bank straight away into turn three stenos is coming up into the mix as we come through three and four i think the end of lap five is the end of the round so let's see can i pull out to the inside try to win the round now as we go down the front straightaway we have no help but we have so much momentum it's not going to matter i think the yellow's coming right here no still nothing okay all the 26 is into the pits as we cross the line and there's the end of the round p1 okay so i lost the lead in the in the mandatory pit stop here so now we have some work to do we're halfway through the race so we got enough feel we'll be okay there we just got to be smart and try and win this thing just staying on the inside has already got us going for the lead we're going to give jimmy johnson a massive push right here down the back straight away into turn three there we go now we're talking who's this jj yaley right behind me how is he in the in the bud shootout like i said there is cars in this bud shootout that should not be in this bud shootout here now is i'm just gonna stick with the 48 for the time being until my hands are forced to make a move like just about right here a little bit of contact with the 23 we're okay oh we are three wide into turn three three by three multiple rows i'm just trying to hold my best here and not crash the car and i'm not trying oh my god we are four wide here down the front straight away gentlemen Gentlemen, I know it's a bud shootout, anything goes, but oh my goodness, we're still, I'm not backing out. I mean, I was here to begin with, okay, this is on them at this point if we crash four wide. Down into turn one, more contact 
And the fact that we haven't crashed is insane, and we made it. We're still just now three wide. Oh, that's going to be where it happens right here. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on to it. We're fine. This is where I could really use a wheel right now, but we're fine. We save it. I don't know how we just survived all that. Oh, my goodness. I nearly KO'd the 48. I'm just going to go up here. We need to actually cool the engine just a tad bit. We're going to be three wide here in turn three, but I'm just going to stay down here and see what happens. Try to give that 48 some room to work with, and there we go. And then I'm going to make a move on Matt Kenseth to the right rear quarter panel. I don't know if we're getting any more yellows. I think it's only two rounds, if I'm not mistaken, as we are three wide for the lead. They're trying to... Oh, they're going four wide again behind us. I'm going to... Oh, no, never mind. There's the end of the round right there. So we've now won both rounds of this Bud Duel. So then, we're going to have a late uh, scrap here for the dual win, or the shootout win. I think it's, what, four laps? Unless, does it stay at 11 here when we cross the line? I would not imagine so. It does. Okay, so it's five lap sprint for the win here in the Bud shootout. Now it's just going to be a block fest for the final four laps. They are three by three by three. Ryan Newman does not want to ride in line behind me. He is going everywhere, and I'm just covering him off. Oh, no, 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 oh, 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 that was close, that was very close, I was trying to cover the 31, who kind of caught me off guard, he jumped over to the outside, he's there, he's got to run, and now, I need some assistance here, Danica's gonna get to my right rear, oh, no, as long as she doesn't clear us, then I think we're okay, try to side draft a tiny bit, can't really do that in this game, but we're still barely at her left rear as we approach the final lap, so we're okay, we're gonna continue to maintain the lead. White flag in the air, and you know what? We nearly choked away a win right there, but I think we're going to be in good shape now as we are on this final lap, and I'm going to jump back down to the inside. Al Morola's going to follow through. Here comes Clint Boyer with a run. We're going to cover that off. Really no problems whatsoever as we come through three and four for the final time. No pressure at all on the exit of the corner. Boyer is going to not even go for it. He's going to push me, so we're going to kick off Speed Weeks with a win. In the Bud Shootout, we will absolutely take that. Let's go. That's how we kick off the season here in Jeff Gordon's drive for five in the final season of his career. It is duel time here. Now, we're running less laps in the duel. For some reason, in the shootout, I couldn't go any less than, what, 15 laps? Probably because of the format and the, uh, you know, cautions, the rounds and whatnot. But the duels, we were able to go down to even two laps if I wanted, but I decided to go with nine laps. So I didn't qualify because, well, it's a plate track, and we are going to try and work our way through the field, though. However, I don't think it's going to be a problem. We're going to continue to dominate Speed Weeks, in my opinion. We started off with a win. I think we can probably win the duel here, and I think we can win the Daytona 500 in this episode. Kick off Jeff Gordon's drive for five in perfect, perfect fashion. Oh, we are absolutely flying right here. We're up into the top 10, passing Joey Logano right behind the, the 33 of Ty Dillon as well and making some very nice gains. Oh, 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 no, 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 pace car. Oh, my God. Thank God the pace car is not a physical thing. Oh, there's our first wreck of speed weeks. Things have gone wrong. I mean, I, I cut off the 47. I wasn't trying to. I reacted to the 26. Because uh, I hit the 26 and sent him almost around, and then obviously it ended in that fashion. I decided to stay out because we didn't really do any actual uh, performance impacting damage to this car. I mean, it don't look good, but I think we could still win this thing. We got four laps to work with. Oh my god, what are we doing stomping on the brakes for right there? Nearly forced it four wide when I did not want to even come close to that. Casey Kane's here. I didn't even notice he was in this race. Outside with a big stack up is what I needed inside stacks up too though two laps to go We're kind of running out of time to make something happen here and no lanes are really going anywhere It's kind of like a flat line, but now we're starting to get some more three wide which should start to spice it up a bit more Ay, 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 I'm sorry Carl and now I'm three wide in the middle I need to try and clear this 19 by the time we hit turn three we'll do exactly that Thank you very much. We'll jump back down to the inside Nice run here down the front straightaway white flag in the air in the duel and now we're in decent position to fight for this win I'm gonna force it three wide because Carl Edwards kind of forced my hand if I didn't do it He was gonna do it so it might work out here Justin Allgaier just in front of us Denny Hamlin leading this inside line Boyer Johnson Austin Dillon up on the outside When do we make a move? I'm gonna back it up just a little bit I'm trying to back it up, but I can't Allgaier is going too slow I mean we have to go for it We have only one option and that is send it right here and it turn three Hamlin as long as he doesn't get past us there Get clear. It's still not gonna happen though. Clint Boyer is simply too far out and so is Jimmy Johnson as we exit turn four. Oh, there it is pushing too hard to try and chop the nose of the doge coin I wrecked myself Clint Boyer 
wins the duel. It is going to be P10. Jimmy Johnson wins the duel, actually, and it looks like a photo finish, or I just got him out of turn four. I didn't notice, but P10 in the duel. Let's head to the 500. Of all professional sports, only NASCAR begins with its biggest event. Welcome to Fox Sports coverage of the Daytona 500. I'm Mike Joy with Hall of Famer Daryl Waltrip. Mike, the Daytona 500, the great American race. It's the Super Bowl. It's the World Series. It's the Kentucky Derby, all rolled into one. The 500 has always been the biggest race of any season. It has, Mike, and there's the guys that are favorites, but I, I love Dale Jr. in this race. This track means a lot to the Earnhardt family, and I love to see Dale Jr. in Austin. All right, 200 laps. Let's go. Daytona 500, baby, let's get it here now as the green flag is going to be up. We got a 30 lap race here in Daytona. The duel, or the duels didn't go quite how we had imagined. The shootout was fantastic. We won everything in that that we could have won. Uh, the first round, the second round, and the actual race itself. The duel didn't quite go how we had imagined it going. And now here we are in the Daytona 500. 30 lap race can we get a daytona 500 win for jeff gordon in his final season in the third attempt of this season mode and i'm hopeful that this is going to be the third time the charm kind of deal here now as i'm going to try and get aggressive right off the bat i want to be up front you know what we didn't do in the duel you know in the shootout we stayed up front all race long it kind of worked out and we didn't do that in the duel and we paid the price multiple times so we're going to try and get straight to the front as soon as possible and then just try to manage the lead from there. So I'm going to get aggressive here. Go to the inside of Matt Kenseth as well. And now look at that. We're already up towards the top five here at the end of lap one. Look at this run out of turn four to the... Oh, McMurray threw a bit of a block there. I don't even think he was trying to block it. This kind of happened. But I'm going to get to the inside anyways. And now Stenhouse, he jumps to the inside. But he's going to jump back up. And I am going to go to the lead of the State 2500. Thank you very much. Now we got a start blocking i'm not gonna go too aggressive on the blocks here early on if they get to my outside they get there but definitely late in the race we're gonna get a little bit crazy but yeah right now there's not much of a need to be over over crazy overdoing the blocking because doesn't want to help me and it's hurting me now because josh wise is gonna go to the lead can i like side drop him a tad bit and then jump back down in front of the two? Oh, here goes the 21 i didn't even notice him coming there now we're three wide Oh, a little bit of contact nearly with Ryan Bellaney, but we're going to stay in second for now and then maybe get to the inside right here on the exit of the corner and then we'll just once again go right back to the lead because we have a lot more help. Oh, oh, that was nearly death. Now we're three wide for the lead because Harvick has a ton of help from his boss, Tony Stewart, and Junior is going to fade backwards a little bit. And now it's going to be a drag race with the four. And if this three car would just help me a little bit, that would be really, really nice. Tony Stewart's actually going to go for it now as well. Look at the run Harvick has. Oh, Dale Jr. is just pinned on the back of that bumper. And now they're going to get clear. Dale Jr. jumps down to the inside. I'm just going to give him a massive shot at the bumper. Okay, that certainly did not do us any favors. Now we're just kind of fading back here. Look at this site right here. Three by three by three. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful here comes Kozlowski now to the outside I need Logano to get here and give me a nice push on the inside I'm gonna jump down with him and hope that we can stay ahead or at least to the inside of Kozlowski in a turn three we will so we should be able to stay ahead oh it doesn't get much closer than that this field man they are getting fed up with me I'm sure that someone at this at some point here is gonna turn me I am walking a very fine line Oh my god, I don't think you can watch, walk a much further line, finer line than that. That was stupidly close. That was the warning sign right there that we're going a little bit too far on the blocking. Here we come for halfway in the Daytona 500. Someone back there, I think it's Jebediah coming into the pit lane. Actually, we have a couple cars exiting the pit lane. We still have some feel in this car, but oh, 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 we're going four wide here all of a sudden. My goodness, guys, calm down. Denny Hamlin... This about got boned. We nearly got boned, too. Here comes Danica Patrick into the mix. We have led a good chunk of laps so far, but now we know pit stops are coming here. They're very imminent, so we need to be ready because we are hopefully going to be the leader when we head into the pit lane. But that comes with a pretty big risk of overshooting the pit entry. Are they going to pit right here? Some of them are. Ryan Newman's going to be one of them. Chase Elliott as well. Cole Witt. Okay, so I think next lap, I think lap 17 is probably where we're going to see most cars pit. So I think we'll pit right here at the end of this lap. Are we pitting? Are we pitting? Are we pitting? No, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. We're saying no. Yes, okay, we made the right call. Second place is way back. He's literally side by side with me. Okay, we're three wide. 
for the lead. Gentlemen, we're about to pit here. Okay, let's let's calm it down just a little bit, Carl. Okay, now as we are trying to be in a single file, you know, organized line, but we're, we're getting far from that here. All of a sudden, like, my speed has, like, dropped off, and they're just flying down this bank straight away. All right, is it this time? Is this the time? It's the time. Let's do it. 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 Down to 55 miles per hour. Oh absolutely beautiful i don't want no tires we are fine without tires and we're gonna fill it up on field i must have like hit the wrong button but we just blew them away on the pit stop now that actually might be a bad thing here comes dale jr and jimmy johnson trevor bain they're all pitting right here yes all of them are coming in so we're all by ourselves and what is going on here oh wow that is a lot of cars that i am passing hello Gentlemen, look at this car, by the way. Not a scratch on it here in 22 laps. I'm actually doing so good. Jimmy Johnson, Dale Jr., they're all exiting. We're going to cycle out to the lead of this race. However, uh, there is a pack of cars behind us that is going to be closing at a significant rate. And if we can just hold them off and keep them behind, I think we'll be okay. I said we're going to come out the lead, but hold on a second. Jimmy Johnson, Dale Jr., all these guys have kind of i think they took less fuel by pitting so late and actually they're they're going slow down the straightaway so we're, we're going to be in the draft this is actually perfect for us and it makes it way easier because we got 300 cars up here in the mix let's let's pick up the 48 all right let's continue on and go get the draft from the 88 car all right we uh we got a problem here dale jr and trevor bain are working together and they are like long gone I need Jimmy Johnson to, like, I don't know, get up here and push me. I see the pack coming, and they are absolutely hauling the mail back there. That is a terrifying sight. All right, Jimmy, let's let's work together, please. All right, I'm going to do a swap with the 48 because he doesn't want to push, and I want to put Jimmy. Come on. Come on. Do you see what is happening in our mirror right now? We got this little pack of cars coming here that I'm going to get absolutely boned by. Are you kidding me? This is what I get for being a teammate. Okay. Now we're going to get in behind our other teammate, Acacia Kane. But imagine being in this position. You look back and you see that. You see that is about to engulf you in a matter of laps. We are the next car to be engulfed by this pack. They're 1.7 seconds back. And look on the top, right? It is continuing to drop by tenths upon tenths of a second. We only have four laps to go, and there's the pack right there. They're getting closer and closer. Dale Jr.'s leading, and then the other 300 cars are right here. Tony Stewart now to the lead of the race. Kane's going to stomp on the brakes. Do I go for it? No, I think we should just stay in line and try to get this ball rolling. And honestly, us picking up this pack might be the only thing that brings us up to that pack up there. Oh, Casey Kane. Oh, my God. Calm down. Calm down. Everybody's here. We're getting absolutely engulfed all of a sudden. Three wide in the middle. Okay, we were able to... Hang on, and we got three laps to try and make up basically two and a half seconds. We just got to get within slipstream range of that main pack. But now that everybody's here, let's see what happens. 2.8 seconds, but now this right here, now that we've gotten sorted out, is going to be the telling sign. I don't know if two laps, two and a half laps, is going to be anywhere near enough time. And two laps to go. We're down to 2.3 seconds. We just gained half a second, but that's not going to be enough. I'm burning my engine up quite a bit. We just got to get within that slipstream range of that main pack, but I don't see any way this is going to happen. I, the fact that we've kept this green the whole time, I deserve some kind of an award for that, in my opinion. But nonetheless, that is not going to be what wins us the Daytona 500. I don't care if the engine's overheating at this point, sir. We are trying to get going and win this Daytona 500. It is Kurt Busch leading, looking for his first at this point in time. He hadn't won one yet in 2015. I'm just going to keep pushing this 48. I don't care. Final lap underway here in the Daytona 500. It has been a very weird Daytona 500, but I am committed to Jimmy Johnson here now as we head down into turn one. Elliot. Oh, no. Oh. My goodness, we have killed Jimmy Johnson. We have absolutely killed him. Massive crash on the last lap. I, when I said I was committed, I didn't mean it like that, okay? Now, as uh, <laughs> the, the wreck is saved for the very end of the race. Joey Logano just plowed into the back of Kyle Larson. Come on, this car is going to be limping home. Kozlowski's coming up behind us. Out of turn four, Tony Stewart, I think, just stole the win. Let's watch that track map to the finish, into the tri-oval. Tony Stewart is going to become a Daytona 500 winner. And I just basically wiped out our whole team aside from Dale Earnhardt Jr. Who was up in the main pack in front of us. I'm not even going to throw a block on Joey here. Now as we exit turn four, he's going to go and pass me. It's going to be B25 in this Daytona 500. That was an absolutely iconic finish and not in a good way. We crossed the line. P oh, P22. 
Okay, not P25, I'll take it. P22 is a nice finish. I can see the field littered over there in the in the left side of the infield. Let's see the finishing order. It's uh, SHR in the top two. Dale Jr. at least got P5. Chase Elliott ended up P8. Uh, he was like behind me when the final lap started. Uh, and then you see, of course, all of the other finishing positions. And I single-handedly took out David Reagan, Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Newman, Regan Smith, Michael Lynette, Denny Hamlin, and Jamie McMurray in a matter of seconds. That was an absolutely catastrophic crash. Let's take a look at this accident, shall we? I mean, I was committed to the back of the 48, and then, I mean, it just kind of went wrong. And, I mean, when I say wrong, I mean, look at that. Absolute mess. We got cars bunny hopping going up in the air. Oh, my God. That is absolutely insane. So, there we have it for the first... I kind of, what is it, a, a reunion episode, I guess you could call it here, of this NASCAR 15 championship season. But like I said, this time we are going to finish it no matter what it takes, okay? We start off a bit rocky. We had a win in the shootout. Things went rough in the duel, but we recovered. And then it kind of got worse and worse as it went on. And a massive final lap crash in the Daytona 500 and that results us in P22. In the next one we head to Atlanta where I think we're going to try it on the wheel and see how that goes if it works and uh, yeah I'll leave you guys at that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed you know what to do and I'll see you guys next time. Have an awesome day everybody.